Hi everybody, welcome back. In our last two videos, we turned Mac into Fabulous Mac in honor of Doc Hudson from Pixar Cars. It was a lot of work, and the two videos I made will be coming up after this short video here, but I had two people send me requests. One, to put some black dots on the eyes of Mac, and to put number 95 on his hat again in yellow. So I have the black paint right here for his eyes, and I have a little sharp piece of wood I'm going to touch to get the black dot on his eyes. Then I'm going to put the 95 inside. So let's get the camera on the tripod. We'll do that right now. I'm going to raise Mac up so you can see his eyes. I'm going to zoom in because people like the close-ups. So here's my sharp, sharp piece of wood. I'm going to put some black paint and I'm going to zoom in really close. Whoops. So we can get that perfect black spot on his eye. One on this side too. There, Max looking over to the side. Perfect. Now let's put this down here. And we're gonna take the yellow paint. I have a brush all set to go. I'm gonna put 95 on the hat, just like I tried to do before, but I put my fingers in it. And like I said, after this video, you're gonna see the full creation of Pixar Cars Fabulous Mac. Everyone said I should have put 95 here in honor of, since Mac is lightning's holler, put 95 on here too. Because I got 91 down here. I mean 51, sorry, in honor of Doc Hudson. Okay, I hope you guys liked the last video. It got quite a bit of views. Um, this one will be a long video because I'm going to have this one, this part, plus the two parts of the previous one. So if you already saw the, me making the video, you'll probably skip ahead to the end. If not, enjoy the video. It's going to be about half an hour long. And not very often to make them that long, but should be good. There you go. I hope that makes everybody happy. There's Max, nice black dots on his eyes. I think Anthony requested that. And number 95 on the side. Let's line up and have a look. There we go. Fabulous Mac. There's Mac. And there's Fabulous Light McQueen. And I mean, Fabulous Light McQueen and Fabulous Doc Cards. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please enjoy the rest of the video. I hope you have any comments or questions. Put them in the back. At the end, I mean, and we'll see what we can do in the next few days. In our last couple of videos, I took this was actually XRS Cruiser Mirrors, and I painted it like a sprinkle or orange glitter to match Glitter Jackson Storm. And then I didn't like that, so I repainted it to look like Mater. Now, this is XRS Mater, but um, I actually have XRS Lightning McQueen and XRS Jackson Storm. But I looked at one of my old videos, and guess what I have already? I already have XRS Mater right there. I forgot I had it, and I ended up making one out of um, this style body. I had so many maters, like I forgot I had that one. Like here's one here with an actual toe. This is a precision mater, and I also have the one that goes in the water. I forget what it's called, but he didn't work very well. He goes in the pool and he travels along. He floats in the pool and he travels along on those wheels. And I also have this here mater fan of Lightning McQueen. See, so you got the lights on top, 95. That's a nice one. And I ended up using this one here last week to make Monster Truck Mater using those wheels on this body style. Okay, so you guys are catching on now. Uh, somebody asked me the other day to make a Next Gen Mater. I already made Next Gen Mater. I used them making, I used Next, I used Smokey to make Next Gen Mater. And I actually sprayed yellow paint on the other day. So that's no good. Somebody wants me to make a new tractor and use this one as the style. And I don't really want to change that yet. You have to convince me. I might paint the whole thing primer gray and start again, but I really like this sputter stop monster truck tractor. Now, where's the other one? Here's the real sputter stop tractor. That was a pretty good job. It actually looks very similar to sputter stop. I couldn't write the name here because it's too small, but to get the 92 on top, looks pretty close. That was a pretty good replica, actually. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to start making um, Fabulous Mac using Mac. I'm gonna paint. The, I'm not gonna make the whole video today. I'm gonna paint the wheels black and the inside red, and most of the body blue. And I'm gonna use the in the next part of the video the, the hat will be red, and I'll put the grill on it and his eyes and his the rest of it. So it might be a two-part video. So I'm just gonna get to paint it right now and paint the wheels black here. And I got some new red, brand new red paint. I'm gonna do the wheels, get them looking like um, fabulous Doc Hudson. You guys see them look like him? So let's get the paint out and we'll start. Okay, I'll move that out of the way. Oops, it falls apart still. I got lots of black paint, as you can probably see the brush and the paint here. I'm just gonna paint the wheels first, nice and black, and then I'll go around later and put the red in the inside when this dries. 
There's a six, six wheels on Mac. There we go. I'll get a little closer view so you can see. And listen, thanks everyone for watching the videos and sending me ideas. Uh, that helps me a lot when I'm trying to come up with ideas. I got 3,000 videos up there, and if only if only they were all being watched. If I watched, if everyone watched one video a day, I'd be very very wealthy, obviously. But I don't get many views anymore, so I'm looking for ideas all the time that you people like to watch. And if I can make something you want to watch, maybe that'll help me get more views. Because it's all about the views and. YouTube doesn't seem to get me much views anymore. I don't think the people are watching the videos. Too many anyway. Anyway, I'm just gonna flip this over and do the back. And once I get this, I'll take a little break and start doing the blue, because most of this truck is blue to match um, fabulous dock hoods. It's gonna look pretty good, and people have been asking for that for quite a while. I haven't really figured out exactly all the idea yet what I'm gonna do so it's gonna be like a, a work in progress I might say one thing one minute and then change my mind in the next video so bear with me and thank goodness I'm recording I always forget sometimes to push the record button I'm talking to myself and I missed a lot okay anyway here's the last wheel I'm gonna, this is how I do it I hold the wheel hold the brush and spin the wheel that makes a good job that way it looking pretty good okay here we go no, what's happening is the axle's hitting the table on the other side, so I got some black paint on the on the desk over there. But I gotta clean this whole mess up pretty soon. Okay, there's all six wheels. Check the other side. Yep, it'll still look good. Yeah. Okay. I'll put that down. I'm gonna get out the blue paint and start painting the body blue. I'll put the black paint. I'll finish with that for now. Or maybe we should do the mirrors in black too. What do you think? Maybe we'll do the mirrors right now in black. That's a good idea actually. Get them done. Because when I get the blue on. I'll be trying to paint them a different color. Okay, I'm doing the mirrors now black. Okay, like I said, this is a work. There's no, um, whatever. I don't have a plan. I just make it up as I go along most of the time. There's no practice and there's no retakes. It's a one shot. That looks pretty good. That came nice. I like that mirror now. And to the other side. And, and the exhaust pipes too got to be done in black too. That's right. I'll do that now too while I'm at it. And then we'll, then we'll put the blue on. This is going to be a long video, but that's why I make it in two parts. Uh, once I put the blue on, I'll stop there for the for the night and um, see if we can up another plane. There seems to be some glue on this here. I think this is the one I had Miss Fritter's horns glued to. Remember that video where I turned this into Mac was actually Miss Fritter? Who remembers that video? If you saw that, you're doing pretty good. That was a while ago. But you guys watch a lot of videos, so that's what probably, you probably saw it. There's my two mirrors, they're done. Now, what about my stacks? Okay, I'll do the stacks too black. Okay, that's good. Because you won't be seeing much of these anyway, because they're going to be behind the picture. I'm just going to do the tops. And uh, that's all you're going to see is the top sticking up. Okay, I'll do them black. So then I'll do the blue all around it. This might be a little messy. But anyway, we'll see what happens. Uh, a lot of custom cars out there now. You notice when you go to the stores to see the new cars, a lot of them are custom cars. I think they're um, seeing the success of our Pixar Cars Customs. I mean, Diecast, what's the name of the company? Um, Pixar, not Pixar, but whoever makes the Diecast. Hot Wheels, Hot Wheels are making lots of custom cars now. If you haven't noticed that, um, you go to the Walmart or Target or wherever your store is that sell these cars and you're gonna see all kinds of new cars out there because people are eating these up like crazy. There, that's all I can do with the smokestacks. That's the exhaust pipes in the back. And then the rest will be all blue around it. I'll see if I can cover that up right there. There. Let's get, take a little break and get the blue paint out. And we'll start with that next. Now I'm going to need an awful lot of paint for this blue. So I'm going to keep putting it out until I get a huge pile of here. And this paint's getting old because it's getting sticky. This paint's a couple of years old. Um, and I lost the cover off a lot of these. And that's what happens when it goes bad. Then I have to put some water in some of it. There. That's a lot of paint. You'll see it. I'll show you in a second. Look, that's a lot of paint, but it might be enough. Now, normally what I'll do is I'll make a, a part one video, then a part two video, and then I'll come back and in a couple of days I'll make one big video of part one and two all put together. And I'm not going to do the top. I'm just going to leave his hat. I might paint that red. And I'll put the number 51 on the side here, right in there, in bright yellow when it's all done. So here goes Fabulous Mac. And I'll try and do it half decently neat. See if I can keep it on the lines, just like doing a puzzle. Picture by number. 
Okay, and up under the window. Leave that gray if I can leave that alone in there. Good. So it looks half decent. There we go. So anybody else there making custom videos? I know I mention this every time. There are some people making customs at home. One guy uh, made a lot of them. He puts them on put some on his channel. I forget his name right now, but that's good. I'm glad I'm inspiring others to do the same. Okay, now I'm gonna do the fender if I can. And the engine hood. The engine hood right here. Hmm, interesting. I wonder if I should put the top of the engine hood a different color? I don't know. I might leave that gray right now while this dries and think about it while this dries and see if I can up with an idea. I still have to do his eyes in there, yes? In the hood ornament, the grill. Okay, here we go. I'll do the other side now first. This might be almost dry enough to do the red in the wheels before this part one is over. It's gonna be a long video, like I said. I hope you're still watching. Uh, some people tune out at the very beginning and jump to the very end to see how it turns out, but they'll be disappointed this time because it's not gonna be finished at the end of this part. Part two is coming the next next video, and then of course part three will be the. The entire video, like 20 minutes long, or did the whole thing. But gotta do a good job. This is Mac. Gonna be fabulous, Mac, in honor of Doc. Anybody think Doc Hudson's gonna come back as a renewed car, like taking over the franchise and the Cars 4? Wouldn't that be cool? It won't be Doc, of course, but it'll be fabulous Doc Hudson's franchise. Maybe someone will take over the business. Who knows? <clears throat> right down to the bottom. Do I do that side? No, I stopped right there. Okay. Go right down here. This is a big rig. That's why I spray painted it because it took so darn long. It doesn't matter. Lots of paint and lots of time. It'll be a long video. Okay, I'm gonna stop right there. I might come up with another plan for the front. I don't know yet. Go right along the line. The hood line. And see where it ends up. I think I'll do his hat with gray. The beak of his hat, the brim in blue, and then the top will be red. Let's turn it around and I'll finish off this fender here. How do I skip that? I wonder. Must have got carried away. Then I gotta stop and take a break and up the plan what to do next. I have lots of paint left so I'm not worried about the running out. Okay we get, we'll come back in a few minutes to see how that looks. Okay just poured off some red. I'm going to do his hat in red before I call this um, for the day and we'll see how it looks then I can come back and finish it off in the next video. This is going to be just the rough the rough side of it and then I'll finish it off in the next video. Just to give you an idea how it's going to look because I really don't know myself how it's going to look but I got a lot of work to do yet. I don't want to make a mess, but I have too much wet paint here. And if I start smearing it, then it will look very good. I'm not really taking much of a break between um, colors, I'm just blending in. You know what I mean? I'm not really stopping and coming back, I'm just keeping on going. It's going to look pretty good though. People have been asking me for Fabulous Mac for a long time. And uh, I know it's a lot of work, that's why I probably kept putting it off. If you know what I'm just saying, it's a lot of work. And I'll try and keep the audience happy. I don't make it too much of a mess. I know there's a lot of people that watch these videos are collectors and they look at custom videos. They're probably shaking their heads saying, oh my god, that's terrible. That's okay though. I'm doing my best and that's basically what we're supposed to do do your best and that's about it well there is the hood and the hat so far looks pretty good let's take a little break and we'll come back in the morning or later on tonight and do some more work to us hi everybody welcome back to part two of our video where we're making fabulous mac this is the next day. Uh, most of it's dry by now, obviously. And I'm gonna continue on with making Fabulous Mac in honor of Fabulous Doc Hudson. Somebody mentioned that he was watching the video holding his own uh, Fabulous Lightning McQueen, and I told him I'd have that right here. 
and I'm actually using that card to decide what colors to paint Mac. And I'm gonna end up um, painting the bumper blue, the hood blue, and the grill is gonna be silver, and I have a white smile, that's my plan. And then I'm gonna do the wheels in red, and that should be it. Oh, the eyes have to be done too. I might do them when I get the white, and see if I can get that done pretty good. Okay, let's continue on with the video. I'll get some blue paint, and do the rest of the hood and the bumper, and then I'll work on the eyes. Everything else looks good, then I'll do the wheels. Okay, I'm running out of blue paint. I may have to uh, get some more, but I might have enough. I spilled some over here, so I'm gonna use that first. I'm gonna see if I can get the bumper done in blue, and then I'll do the engine hood. Okay, I might have enough there. Thanks again, everyone, for watching the video this morning. I got a lot of views on already. Most of you guys stuck around to watch the whole thing, and it was 12 minutes, and this one here should be probably the same. I'm not quite sure how much I'm gonna get done. I have to do it in stages again because the paint has to dry. I'm gonna paint the grill silver and white smile, so I have to leave this dry. Uh, before I put the smile on, of course. It's a big Mac smile. Okay, that came good. Now I'm gonna do this part blue and the entire hood. Then I'm gonna take a little break from what I'm doing here. You won't know the difference because you're watching the video, but I gotta get the eyes in there white. I need a small brush for that. So that's gonna be kind of intricate work. Might do it off camera, I'm not quite sure yet. I got enough paint to do this, no problem. Someone suggested I paint the mirrors gray, but I've already got them done in um, black, so I'm gonna leave them black, this is different. I could put them gray, but I'm not going to. I might just leave that gray like it is, actually. That grill looks good. Okay, now to do the, to the top. I need more paint. See, it's getting pretty old. It's all dried out, the bottle's stuck. I have to go get some today at the dollar store. Or actually get it at a store called Michael's where they sell crafts. I'm not sure if you have that where you guys live. But uh, we got it here, and it, it's pretty inexpensive as well. It's called Peacock Blue. Matches perfect. Doc Hudson. And Fabulous Lightning McQueen, don't you think? I'm gonna try and get this right up here. This is kind of hard to do and hard for you guys to see in there, but I'm doing my best. I gotta get in here. I just have enough. Thank goodness. Okay, that's all the blue I'm gonna do. And that, I might, uh, I don't know what to do with the grill. I might paint it uh, white yet, I'm not sure. I might just leave it like that, looks pretty good actually. Now I gotta do the, the white for the eyes. I'll try and figure that out. When I first started painting these cars, remember I had all these nice little um, paint things and uh, it's so hard to clean up. Now I just use disposable papers. Now I'm gonna hold the camera up, like hold the truck up like this and try and get the white for the eyes in there without making a mess. I have to come back and touch this up off camera where I can do a better job. I'm just having a hard job holding the truck straight and the paintbrush so you can see it all. I'll tidy it up. I think some blue has to go in the middle there too between the eyes. Yeah, I'll leave this dry and touch it up. But anyway, that, that, that looks pretty good, the white. Um, if you can see it. Oops, I got some white on this fender. Look. There. I have to fix that up. There patch that up too. Okay, I'm gonna leave this dry quite a while because uh, it's quite thick and watery white paint, but that's what I want right there, just like that. I'll cover the rest of blue. Okay, now I'll get the red for the wheels. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna try and put the big smile on right now because I got the brush out and the paint's almost dry. I'm gonna put a big Mac smile right here. That's a nice smile. Okay, now clean the brush and get the red for the wheels. Got my brand new red paint. Oop, lots of it there, okay. And I'm gonna do the inside of the wheels as best I can. There goes. Without getting any more on the, on the tires. Okay, it's taking a little, a little harder than I thought, actually. It's because the wheels are so deep. I thought I could just hold the brush and turn the wheel like I always do, but the wheels are kind of 
from the knockback here because I didn't put the screw back in yet. I have to fix up that black wheel too. I got some blue paint on. See? Anyway, thanks again. I, I'll keep mentioning this again. Thanks for watching the video of part one. Eventually, this will be one big long video, like 25 or 30 minutes long when I'm done. Okay, here goes the next one. I want to make sure um, I get two parts up on the weekend, and then during the week I'll put it all together in one big long video. It gets gets good views too, like not a lot, but it's not going to be hard to make when it's already done. I'll just combine it to make one big long video. So if you're watching this on your TV and you can flip through the ads, go right ahead. But most people just skip the ads on YouTube and um, they go to the next part of the video and kind of takes away the revenue for the creator when they skip ahead but i know the story i know the feeling what i mean is when you see an ad if you skip it we don't get any money for it so lots of ads up there now obviously oh i think you're reading it look in the blue that's why i hate doing these like when they're wet it's not that easy just remember where your fingers are all the time okay here goes the back wheel pretty soon this will look pretty good then I'll have to leave it dry because this is what happens. I'll start making a mess. Now the truck just fell over in the, in the workspace. Okay, now I'll do the next wheel. Okay, I'm back. Those wheels came pretty good. Um, I'll speed it up so you don't have to worry about watching it all the way through. I found some more blue paint. I can just touch up the mistakes I made painting all that uh, other colors on there. And I'm going to patch up around the eyes if I can very carefully. I want them to look good. Okay, so here goes along the bottom. Uh, somehow I'm going to have to make a line down the middle too. It's going to be tough. But if I do screw up the line down the middle, I will fix it with some white after this dry. So it's going to take a while to make this video, like I said, but that's okay. It's going to be nice. Okay, here goes the hard part. I'm going to try and make a divider line right down here. Uh, I have to touch up a little bit in the white. That's okay, though. It's not too bad. Okay, that looks pretty good. And uh, let's see. A little bit of blue above the window right here. It's not too bad there, actually. So let's see. I can a little bit of blue right in here. Let's look at the front. I'm going to do the front. Let's see, where's Mac? Mac has gray headlights and a gray grill. So let's get the, I'm going to leave that gray there. I'll put gray headlights on. Okay, let's uh, hold this up so you can see it. Gray headlights on. Nice. Okay, let's have a look. We got the gray grill. Actually, the top of that grill is as well, so I'm gonna have to paint this gray too right here. The whole front of this here is gray. Looking good actually. I won't be able to write the word Mac in there, but uh, I think this is getting close to the point where I add the eyes and it'll write the number. If somebody said write number 95 and 51 because it's in honor of. Um, he's Lightning McQueen's driver, but he's also. In honor of Mac. So that came pretty good. Now let's see. Um, we're gonna do the eyes next. <clears throat> First I need some black. That's perfect that one. Now if I can do the other side I'll be laughing. Okay that's great. Now I need to come back and put uh, some blue in that to match. Okay we'll leave it dry for a while. We'll come back in a few minutes. Okay well that's dry and I had an idea. I'm gonna put 51 in yellow on the side and 95 on the hat. So I'll kill both two birds at one stone. I'll put 51 in honor of Doc Hudson. Uh, this is the fabulous part, fabulous Doc Hudson. And because it's Lightning McQueen's truck, number 95, I'll put 95 on the roof, on the hat. How's that? Does that make everybody happy or should I just leave it all 51? And up here I'll put 95. Here goes. Paint is getting kind of thick. 95. This is quite the custom. All I have to left to do now is his eyes with some blue. There. That looks pretty good. I'll do the same on this side. I'll put um, 90, 51 on this side here. And 
95 on the hood. Make it a little bigger, it's too small. And then it'll be 95 on the roof. Perfect, okay, and then the eyes. 95 on the hat, that makes everybody happy, I think. That was a good idea. I like it because it's a tribute to Doc Cuds, but he's actually Lightning McQueen's driver, so works out well. What do you think? Now, turn this around and I'll get the blue for his eyes and then we'll be done. Okay, I got nice blue here. It's a different color blue. I'm going to put a nice blob of blue. Hope you can see it okay. It's not too dark. Okay, here goes. There! Let's have a look at Fabulous Mac. Oh, just put my fingers on his numbers. Okay, I just made a big mistake there, so I'm gonna erase the number 95 up here with uh, red paint. And on the other side as well, because I put my fingers in it. That happens. And I might just leave it like up there, I'm not quite sure. And if I want to put, you let me know in the comments if I should put 95 up here, okay? Because that will be the determining factor. I had it done like the guy asked me to, but um, I made a mess with my hand, so it always happens. Anyway, I'm just gonna leave that as Fabulous Mac and call it part two video complete. If you want me to add things to it, let me know. Let's have a look at it. Okay, there's our Deluxe Mac, and here is now Fabulous Mac. I think it came pretty good, what do you think? Nice eyes, nice smile. Let's have a look compared to Fabulous Doc Hudson. Here's Fabulous Doc. Anyway, thanks for watching everybody. Hope you liked the Fabulous Mac. It came out better than I expected. Yeah, I think we all do actually. So let me let me know what you think in the comment section and I appreciate the idea. Thanks everyone, have a great day.